Hello and welcome to Denton TMD. In today's video we are going to be talking about where I've been, model railway and other upcoming videos. So the real question is where have I been as I haven't been uploading for quite a while. Well like I said in previous videos I've got work so I can't do that as often any well can't video as often as I do and I've now started college that is pretty much taking over my life and main priority at the moment as I want to get an engineering job on the railway myself. Um, you will notice, background, I've got the Denton TND sign and this very wonderful picture of a western sat behind me. And that is a original Swindon uh, Works image of the 10,000 Western Enterprise back in 1961, the year that locomotive was built. Very cool bar that was, I'm very happy with it. Um, yeah, so that's just really why I haven't uploaded recently is because of work in college. That's literally it. Um, other than that, that's probably about it for my absences. Um, model Railway, I've got the baseboards, which is pretty solid. Can't build yet due to room being redecorated, walls are going to be painted soon. Stuff like that. There's no point building a rail railway when I'm going to have to take it down again to repaint the walls. Might as well just wait. So yeah, boards are all there. Ideas for the layout. I did say in a previous video that it was going to be up in the loft. Where I could have it really wide, realistic of trains, more than image. Um, been thinking into it, that has changed. Um, due to costs and the lofts and really the best conditions for a railway that could cause track to expand, boards to warp, etc, etc. Um, it's just not really an ideal location for a loft layout in my opinion. A lot of people have it, I used to. I've realised what it's like, I ain't a fan of it as such. So next layout is only going to be a 15 foot by about 2 foot end to end uh, layout. 5 foot ceiling it with 50 yards over end. Um, this is going to be the interesting part, the 5 foot scenic in the middle will be removable um, that means I could then vary through uh, different eras um, so scenic number 1 will be a southern steam 50s slash 60s era based layout uh, that's going to be obviously a nice big engine shed, turntables, coal tower, water tower um, it's going to have a four track main line running in the background which is going to be raised up which is going to look quite cool idea is going to be semi based from the famous Nine Elms uh, yard which was around in the summer steam um, if you don't know what it is quite easy just go on google and type in Nine Elms uh, come up with loads of videos, pictures and stuff like that um, and then Scenic piece number two would be a modern image version of the exact same location. The um, reason why I'm having it based on two different time periods but on the same place is so you get to see the evolution and the sort of changes of a depot through time. For an example, Tote and Yard, that's got a lot smaller since. Uh, Easty Works, that's got a lot smaller and changed a lot since it was first built over time. It's just going to represent that. Um, I reckon this is going to be a cool little feature. So in videos you can see the sort of change of what would happen between a real life depot over two different eras. I thought that was quite an interesting idea itself. Um, upcoming video wise, I'm still hopefully going to continue on with the Power of British Railways series. Next video planned is going to be a train I've seen pretty much all my life, but it was back when I was pretty much really young, about five, six, before I even had a camera at this point. Um, that would have been the class 180 Corridor. Back when I was six, seven, I was like, it's like I explained, didn't have a camcorder camera at all. Um, so I ain't got any much clips of them. The only real clips I have is when Great Western Railway managed to get them, well, a couple of them back, I think it was like five, six of them back onto the Great Western main line. Uh, a couple of video clips of them when it was running. Now we've sadly not got them anymore, as I really do like them. 
So that's just going to be the next video. It's going to be nice, sweet, and a small video. So it's going to be a nice short one. Other upcoming videos are going to obviously be model railway build when it comes to it. Um, and I've brought a new steam engine. So that needs detailed work doing to it and an unboxing video. So that's going to come soon. I don't know whether to do the unboxing and detailing videos as one big video or to do it two separates. Comment that below, whichever one you want. I'm going to be doing a video detailing uh, my uh, Barlin Aggregate 66. A uh, video on the 67, my new steam locomotive, and possibly uh, some more stuff. What? Because, well. As I've explained, yeah, again, another explanation. Another one I explained in a video ages ago when I changed the name from Den uh, Desbra TMD to Denton TMD. My dad, obviously, he's building the layout and he's decided to take the name Desbra TMD. Um, obviously, with the modern image stock, we sort of share it quite a bit. Um, so, we've got a wind off MPV um, to its these detailing, so that might be a video to do. Uh, I've got another Lima 60 to detail, um, which should be quite a nice one. The one I'm really excited for is when I come to doing my detail on my 50 008 Fondua. It's a Lima model, limited edition. I'm going to detail that as best as I possibly can. Um, I'm going to put the extra air, uh, air intake on the roof, pipe work, ladders, cab interior, drivers, stuff like that. Um, and then maybe in the future add lights to it, no idea yet on the lights. It's just going to be doing the you know casual detail pipe work and simple things like that. Um, that's upcoming video ideas. If you'd like to see any stuff like that, like I said, drop it in the uh, comments section below. As I reckon it would be quite a nice unusual thing to do. Um, also leave comments if you'd like to see other videos. I've got uh, airfix kits for uh, Bedford trucks, uh, tanks, plane, uh, I've got a Hurricane kit somewhere. If you want to see them being built, yet again, just drop us a comment in the description below. I reckon that'd be quite nice. It gives me able to spread my channel out nice and broad and be able to attract new people to the channel as well. Um, that's just how I like to see it. It's not to gain views or anything like that. It's just that I want to try and you know get a nice big community of people from like kit builders, model railway people, plane people, tank people, lorry people. Try and merge them all into one big fan base. I reckon it'd be interesting. Um, other projects that I have got on the go is obviously my GBRF50 and GBRF60 projects. Uh, I've got a Lima 73 and that is soon to be uh, making its way to the uh, tin to be stripped down um, which is also going to be another GBRF build um, as you can tell I like GBRF quite a lot um, that's pretty much all that I wanted to say in this video uh, other than that Please just hit like and subscribe, it's going to help out a lot with the channel and making it grow to get to targets I think we all would like to see. Um, other channels I'd like you to go and have a look at for Railway Wise would be my very good friend Danny Cook and Luke Alford. Uh, they're very good channels to go and look at, they do real life trains, model uh, railways and other cool videos like that. Thank you for watching this video. Um, that's me, Denton TMD. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.